number 32 ABC's a violin this is lullaby lullaby is just a bunch of the, the same things that we have been working on but they're introducing the dotted half note the dotted half note adds 50 percent onto it so it is going to be worth three beats so look at the end of the second line we have um a rest so it's nothing super crazy for us um we're just going to end up probably lifting that bow to reset for that line three and it's going to be on that beat four um so lullaby is a lot on that e string and we haven't done a million things on the e string yet so we're still getting used to reading on that um and and get comfortable that third finger is on that top line with that ledger line so we're starting all the way up there uh, one two three on the e string e f g a a and and we're walking down and jumping back up so don't lift your fingers incredibly high off of the string because we're going right back to it e uh a a f e uh yeah a a g f e e a and putting all three fingers right back down so keep your fingers close to the string um and in the third line, they suggest there's parentheses, uh, say asking you to do a fourth finger. I agree with that um, because so that we can stay on that string. And then directly underneath of that in line four, it has a zero in parentheses to suggest that you should do an open E string because we're going to be going up on that E string with the fingers. So might as well do open E. I agree with that one as well. And then the last two lines are the same as the first two lines, except for we have a retardando where we slow down at the end and to make it a little bit more elegant and, and show that ending is very final. Um, so let's read through it first. One, two, ready, read. A, A, G, F, E, E. A, A, B, A. A, G, F, E, D, D, C, D, B, A. C A B C A C four four C A B C D rest C A B C A C open E E F G A F E rest all three A A G F E E A A B A F E D D C D B A rest. All right, let's pluck it now. They do have some suggestions for uh, dynamics. We start off mezzo forte in that fourth line. We have a crescendo into the final uh, uh, recapitulation of that main theme into uh, forte for the last two lines. And then that retardando, which is not the volume. So I'll write all three on that E string. One, two, ready, pluck. A, A, G, F, E, E, A, A, B, A, two, three, four, A, F, a G F E all three D D C D B A rest C A B C A C four four C A B C D two three lift C A B C A C open E E F G A F E two three lift A A G F E E A A B A two three four A G F E all three D D C D B A two three rest. Um, we lift to the end of line three and line four. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Uh, we're not going to lift at the end of line two, so that helps us out. Now let's do the bowing. All three fingers on that E string, and put down that fourth finger. Just tap it so that you know where to go. One, 
two, ready, go. Now, make sure that it's a lullaby. <laughs> so it's a lullaby. So we don't want it to be gritty or fast or anything. It says Adante, which is more of a walking speed and even tells you 92 beats per uh, minute. And so I love the metronome. Um, it can be, it's not judgy because it's a machine, but it really points out your flaws and shows you where you need to improve. And it shouldn't be a race. It's something, it's a tool to help you to become better. So start with, with somewhere around 60 or 70 and then slowly speed it up. Or if it's too easy fast, work your way down into a slower speed because we don't want to be like, hush little baby, don't say a word. It's we want to be soothing with it so lull that baby to sleep 